All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Terrell. We're about to get into that. We're about to get into that Nessa Barrett. I hope you're miserable until you're dead. Without further ado, we're going to see what she's talking about. Rich value. I still hear your voice Trying to rip my world to pieces But I'm not your toy you can break and leave the bleeding The damage is done, moving on if I'm ready or not Listen, this guy must have did some... This, he must have done some terrible shit, for real But one thing I like she like that she said, she said But I'm not your toy, you can't break, uh, break and leave uh, bleeding You know what's crazy about that? When it comes to like kids when we used to, when we used to, not kids, but like being a kid or, you know, when, when it comes to kids, it's like one thing kids are known for doing is breaking their toys. And when that toy is broken, it's no longer useful to them. They don't want to play with it no more. So when she said that right there, I'm thinking, okay, he treated you like a toy then. He treated you like a toy. He used you as much as he wanted to. He played with you as much as he wanted to do so. But then I guess he must have broke you in a way to where now he doesn't want to deal with you no more. And now he's just leaving you to be. But in her words, it's like leave to uh, leave bleeding, you know? I'm moving on if I'm ready or not. Oh, and then she said, I'm moving on, ready or not. So it was like, even after the, even after like a traumatic experience or just like a heartbreak or just anything similar to, the, similar to those things, it's like, she's going to move on regardless. And I'm not saying move on to like another person. But, like, she's going to continue on with life. Like, she's going to keep moving forward, pushing forward, and better herself. And, you know, she's not going to let that have an effect on her life anymore. But, but boy, you can break and leave the bleeding. The damage is done moving on if I'm ready or not. But you dragged me through mud, here I come. Ah, shit. Listen, when it's time for somebody to be petty, they about to give you a taste of your own fucking medicine. Your taste of your own fucking medicine. Everything that you probably done put her through, she about to put you through the same thing. That's why she said, petty, I'm petty as fuck. She's not petty. She's petty as fuck. So you already know what's about to go down. I'm petty as fuck. Damn, y'all heard what she just said? Hold on, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Y'all heard what she just said? Hold on. Bro, what? He must damn, damn for her to feel that way, for her to say, I hope you never fall in love again. It's like damn, but I I get why she could be saying that because she doesn't want anybody else to go through what she went through. She doesn't want anybody else to gain that traumatic experience of what that guy put her through. So I could get why she would say, I hope you never fall in love again. Cause I'm pretty sure the guy probably was in love when he treated her the way she the way I'm pretty sure the guy was in love when he treated her the way he treated her, which was a in a in a bad way. Then she said, "Uh, I hope you be yourself and lose your friends." So I, I'm guessing she wants the real him to come out, so that way his friends could just be like, "Now nah, I don't want to deal with that." Like, bro, like what? Like that's how you treat women? Nah, bro. What? And then she said, "I hope you they call you out for the shit you said." Bro, listen. You know what? When it comes to friends, you got the friends that are actually that will actually call you out on your shit. They will actually call you out on your shit. But then you also have the friends. That are like yes men. I don't know why I did that. But they're like, they, they call them yes men, right? It's basically like they don't see no wrong in what you're doing. Or they'll just believe whatever it is that you tell them without even knowing both sides of the story. So you could be telling them, a, he could be telling them a whole lie, portraying this 
uh, image that he's somebody that he's really not whole time. The girl is right about everything. She, if she was to come out to them and tell him, tell them X, Y, and Z, he did X, Y, and Z to me. He's not even this good of a person. She could be a hundred percent right about everything she's saying, but since because they're closer to him and they're his friends, he's going to expect them to believe him because those are his friends. But I feel like if those are really your friends, but they're going to call you out on your shit. It doesn't mean y'all going to stop being friends, but they're going to call you out on your shit and tell you like, yo, bro, this is like, what are you doing, bro? You know what I'm saying? Oh, and then she said, uh, I hope you're miserable until you're dead. Damn. Oh, shit. It's not funny, but damn. I hope you're miserable until you're dead. Bro, what did you do? I hope you're miserable until you're fucking dead. Damn. Did you say, I hope you're miserable until you're dead. I know she probably just wanted to choke the hell out of him just now while he's sleeping. Been keeping your shit to myself. If I said it out loud, you'd be burning in hell, and I can make everybody hate you almost as much as you hate yourself. But I won't, cause I know one day it'll come around. But fuck you for now. She stayed quiet. She had so much tea on you. She had so much fucking tea on this dude. But she said she been keeping shit quiet. She keeping shit to herself. And that's because she know karma is fucking real. Karma is real. She said one day it'll come around. One day it'll come around. I believe in karma. 100%. 100%. Whatever you put out there into the universe, that shit'll come right back to you in different ways. Maybe not the same way you put it out, but that shit will come back to you. And that's what I guess Nessa Barrett... Def definitely feels like that should have come back. She ain't really got to do much. She ain't got to go out there and spread your business or write a whole fucking paragraph on Instagram or make a whole video about what you did. Yada, yada, yada. This, she going to let karma deal with you. She going to let karma deal with you. Bro got spooked. Bro got spooked. It's like, it's like, it's like his, it's like his wrongdoing is like starting to haunt him. So the way he treated her, it's just like, by him just seeing her face is like, it's, it's like, it's haunting him. You get what I'm saying? It's like, bro done messed up badly. I'm guessing one of those regrets was probably losing her, tr losing her, uh, treating her bad. It's like she, she wants the guilt of, I, I think she wants the guilt of him losing her, eat him away or eat him alive. How they say it? They let your guilt eat you away? Y'all know exactly what I'm trying to say. I forgot how they say it though. <laughs> Listen, she said, you know, I don't forget. What's she, hold on, what, I gotta, what she said again? Fall in love again. I hope you'll be yourself and lose your friends. 
Wait, wait, wait. She, uh, she said, hold on. She said, you know, I don't forgive and I don't forget. I love that saying. You can forgive somebody, but you don't, you don't got to forget what they did. But she says, you know, I don't forgive. So she's not forgiving you no matter what. She's never going to forgive you. And she'll never forget that experience that you put her through, whoever she's talking about. Yeah, it's like, it's like her, her ghost was haunting him the entire music video. Ro didn't see, Ro wasn't expecting that. He wasn't, and that shit is about to eat him alive. But anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Um, Like, subscribe, comment, turn on your bell notifications so you're notified every time I drop a video. And learn from this video right here. You ain't got to treat someone bad. If you just don't want to be with them, don't be with them. But don't treat someone bad because karma will come back to tear that ass up. Because I believe in karma. And I, I think you should too. If it hasn't happened to you yet, it's coming. Don't worry about it. You ain't got to. Listen. Do what she did. You ain't got to go out on Instagram. You know, because that's what everybody tends to do after a relationship. They tend to go to Instagram, diss each other and stuff like that. Nah, we're going to let the universe deal with you. We're going to let the karma deal with you. I'm going to let the karma deal with you. You know, it's no need to go back and forth over social media and stuff. Not saying that she's dead. That's what she did. But you know how people tend to diss each other after a breakup? Oh, you did this, you did that, make videos and stuff like that. It's like, what do you get out of that? You know? What do you get out of that? You don't really get nothing out of that, you know? But anyways, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace. We out.